Let's explore some items to consider when composing a business email. First, think about the writing voice you use when conveying your ideas. The goal is to convey your thoughts as if the recipient were sitting nearby and casually talking with you. Business writing doesn't need to be overly formal. Please allow this correspondence to inform you that it has come to our attention regarding the matter dated 20... Nor should it contain jargon or be too relaxed. Dude, what's up, buddy? Yo, listen, dog, that warranty paperwork is headed your way stat. A comfortable middle ground, known as business friendly, is the proper voice to use when composing a business email message. Business friendly is still respectful, but not overly formal. The next important step before composing a business email is to consider why you're sending this message. What's your objective for sending this? To determine your objective, simply answer these questions. If this email message is successful, what will happen? What do I want the reader to do? What will the hopeful outcome be? There are dozens of possible objectives or desired outcomes. Some common ones might be, if this message is successful, the recipient will reply with the information you need, answer a question, be persuaded to commit to what you're writing about, be satisfied that you've answered their question, reply back, confirm a time, date, or agree to an arrangement, plus many other possible objectives. Let's compose an email. Start with a friendly opening greeting to get things off on the right foot. Good morning, Connor. After your greeting, include a warm opening statement, which buffers the message and adds a human touch. Thank you again for your recent order. Our support team is excited to be working with you. Now, state why you're writing and address your objective. Let's say you want to help keep this client updated about the progress of some paperwork and when they can expect...